Good Saturday morning. Oops, sorry, my ear itches. How are you this morning? I hope you're having a great morning. Welcome to Peace Out. We talk about the peace of God, right? We started this devotion, gosh, in March of 2020 when the world was crazy, didn't we? And uh, then when the pandemic's kind of, you know, everybody's kind of going back to normal and I got three followers now instead of a (laughs) hundred. Everybody has found peace somewhere else, right? Nah, that's all right. You know what? I just I don't, I just don't want to stop doing it. Now, if I if God tells me to stop doing it, I'll see y'all later. I got other things to do. But for now, uh, it's a tool, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing it until God says don't. So I I, I do hope that you know as you're watching that it, it's it's helping minister something to you. I hope it's ministering. I really hope it's still giving you peace. Now, I ain't going to give you peace. My devotions aren't going to give you peace. But what I mean by that is that, you know, God still gives us peace. It it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether there's a pandemic or not a pandemic. He's still our peace. It doesn't matter if I am going through something really hard or just came through something really hard. He's still my peace. It doesn't matter if it feels like my whole world is falling apart or I feel like on those very rare occasions I have everything together. He's still my peace. It doesn't matter if I'm getting along with all my friends and relatives and and co-workers. I don't really have co-workers, but clients and the aid and, you know, everybody, everything's working out great and I'm getting along with everybody or I feel like everybody hates me and I have no friends and I feel all alone or whatever you want to fill in the blank. He is still my peace. (laughs) It doesn't matter what I go through, good, bad, indifferent. No matter what life throws my way, he is still my peace. Isn't that amazing? You know, and so a lot of times we go along real easy. You know, we was we're glad life gets a little has those easy spots right now. You know, not right now necessarily, but do you know what I mean? Life has those easy spots where everything's going good. You got a a decent job. Maybe you just went back to work, or you're looking at going back to work, or you know, or you're like some uh, people. Others, I know that you've made more money being off of work because of unemployment, <laughs> you know, but things things are good financially, or at least stable, you know. You, we always want more, right? But at least stable financially. Maybe your, your home is doing well, your family is doing well, your friends are doing well. You still need his peace. You, you can't make it without his peace because something's going to happen. And that's not a negative statement. That's not that's not negative at all. It's just life. You know, we get to where we're cruising along and it's awesome and we're just eh, everything's really good and then bam, something happens and for me usually it's like three or four things back to back. Cruising along real easy and then this happens and this happens and this happens it's like uh, uh, <laughs> who opened that gate? But whether you feel like things are going along really, really smoothly and everything's, you're going back to work and you get to see your family. I got to spend time with my aunt yesterday. It's so good to get to just hold her and hug her, right? And just be next to her again and, and receive her blessing and just be able to honor her as, as an elder in my family, you know, and, and, uh, um, you know, so we're, maybe we're seeing our families again, which we hadn't seen. I've been seeing some different things on Facebook, kind of trolling, rolling past about different people being able to see their family for the first time in, in person in like over a year. And, you know, that that's good and, you know, all these things. But you know what? We still need his peace. You know, there's not an exemption button. There's not there's not a, a pause button. You don't get up in the morning and go, okay, God, you know what? Today, I, I got this, so let's just put you on pause. I, I don't need you today because I got it all under control today. Well, you know what? If that happens, something will wake you up. Because even in the midst of what feels like a good time, we need to seek his peace. We need to seek his heart. We need to seek his ways. We need to seek his, read his word and and absorb it because there'll be something sometime you know even in the best of times there's there's things are going to happen because it's life because we're breathing you know i heard it said one time you are either going through something you just went through something or you're fixing to go through something (laughs) that's the three states you can be in this life so there's always something going on somewhere and most of us have most of us truth be known most of us have a bunch of stuff going on all at the same time you know we've we've got 
financial things or familial things or or uh, relationship or just there's just stuff right because we're breathing it's not because we're bad it's not because we sin it's not because 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 it's just because we're alive and life is going on all around us and we're part of that life and it's a wonderful thing and in the midst of all of it we still just need his peace you know I don't know about you but I I just need him to just fill me with this peace and then every every day when I get up I just need to remind myself that God has given me an eternal peace it doesn't have to leave even in the difficult times even in the good times he doesn't have a pause button either just like we don't where he goes oh let's just pause peace for a minute I'm just tired let's just pause peace no he's constantly he's constantly asking us and wanting us and drawing us to come get receive of his peace receive his forgiveness receive his love receive all he has for us He's always on. He doesn't have a pause button. He doesn't have an off button. He's just always pouring out to us. I want to read this scripture out of Hebrews 13, 20. It says, Now may the God of peace. See, he's not just he's not just a distributor of peace. He's not the middleman. There is no middleman. He's the God of peace. Just like Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Now may the God of peace, who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, so he's the God of peace also has got some power going on, right? He's not just he's just not like peace out and he has no substance to him, right? He also raised Jesus from the dead by his power. He also created the the whole world with his word except for people and he created us with the with his hand. So the God of peace is also powerful. He's not wimpy. Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, the great shepherd of the sheep, is he your shepherd? Let me see. Let me put it this way. You know, this, we're sheep. We're, it says we're actually. It says we're the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. In Psalm, uh, I think it's ninety-two or ninety-five. Ninety-five. You know, um, it says he's a great shepherd of the sheep. What does a shepherd do? A shepherd herds sheep. A, a shepherd makes sure the sheep can follow them into pastures. That's sustenance, so that they can eat. A good shepherd, according to Psalm 23, and David knew because he was actually a shepherd. You know, he was talking about God as his shepherd, but he was always actually a shepherd. So he's telling us what shepherds do in Psalm 23, because he's relating what he did for his sheep to what God does for his sheep and his people. And that's us. So let's look at that real quick. I'll sneak over there. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I don't lack anything because the shepherd provides for the sheep. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He gives us peace he gives us those those lush green areas of life to just relax a minute and he just fills us with peace but he's david's giving us a picture because david is a shepherd so he understood god was his shepherd he leads me beside still waters i understand sheep won't drink out of bubbling water that they have to have still waters gentle waters to drink out of he leads me beside still waters. So he, he quenches my thirst he restores my soul. Now, how does a shepherd restore a soul of a sheep? See, David knew the shepherd. David knew the shepherd, and that peace that just can saturate our being restores our soul. It 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 builds it, it ministers healing to our mind, our will, and our emotions. But we got to follow the shepherd. You know, if a sheep gets away from the fold and wants to run away, he doesn't get the benefit of the still waters. He doesn't get the benefit of the green pastures to rest and or to eat, right? He says, this shepherd, David's like, I'm a shepherd to some sheep, so I get this thing. You know, my sheep don't go without. My sheep, I'm taken to green pastures so they can rest and 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 eat luscious green greeneries and and have the nutrition they need. I, my sheep go. I take them to the still water so they can drink and and quench their thirst. And then he says, he restores my soul. How did he restore? That there had to be something that he knew from relationship because there's no soul to a sheep for you to restore, right? Except that he was saying, I take care of my sheep, body, soul, and spirit. I'm gonna make sure they're peaceful. I'm gonna make sure they're not under attack. I'm gonna make sure that they they can rest in those green pastures, right? Then he says, he leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. So, you know, if you're lead, if he was leading the sheep, he had to take them down the right paths to get to the right places at the right time. And he says, my shepherd, my shepherd leads me in righteousness. 
My shepherd leads me to righteousness. My shepherd leads me through righteousness and righteous standards because of his name's sake, because his whole name, Jehovah, Adonai, he's God, God of the gods, Lord of the lords. And he wants to, he's going to continue reigning in that way. And that way is why he leads us in righteousness. And then he says, I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which that's, I guess, I think that's a real valley in Israel that he, that David had to lead his sheep through from time to time. He said, but I will fear no evil if God leads me through. If I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't have to fear because God is with me. That's our God of peace. That's our God who raised Christ from the dead by his power. That's our great shepherd. He gives us peace. He's with us. He leads us where we need to be for the right sustenance for our body and our soul and our spirit. He says, he is with us. His rod and staff, they comfort me. He says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all. There's that little word, all the days of my life and I'm going to dwell here's his declaration I love David because he always had a declaration surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever that's part I'm going to do so let's go back to Hebrews it says now may the God of peace who brought you of our Lord Jesus from the dead that's his power the great shepherd of our sheep that's our protector through the blood of the everlasting covenant the blood of the lamb that's our provision make you complete in every good work to do his will working in you what is well pleasing in his sight man isn't that a powerful scripture isn't that a powerful verse it has so much in it that's all one two verses I guess that's two whole verses But that's powerful, thinking about God as a shepherd, thinking about him providing peace for our soul. He even takes care of us, you know, mentally, emotionally. He carries us. You know, when a sheep can't walk anymore, the shepherd picks them up and carries them. I've been there so many times. So many times. I'm just so thankful. God, I just thank you for carrying me. Wow. Is God carrying you today? If you need him to carry you today, he can. He's always there with his peace and his power and his provision body soul and spirit you know what our part is to trust him just trust him that he's got you today that he is giving you the peace ask him for wisdom he'll give you wisdom to deal with whatever you're dealing with who knows we all have different so many different things he's got your back so just trust him today as he makes you complete in every good work he completes you Okay, I hope I gave you some things to think about today. I got some things to think about today. So I and I pray you have a good day. And I, I pray that you let his peace reign in your heart. And I pray that, that he multiplies peace and grace to you. God's just so amazing, isn't he? Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the morning.